just how we live our everyday lives is that we hardly ever like take time to try and be articulate. Yeah. We 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 know how to speak. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know how to do all of these things, <clears throat> answer and whatever, but being articulate takes a like a it needs a a different level of I wouldn't say psychology, but like of understanding. It should be compulsory for everyone to have right. the ability to write because it's the automatic way to make someone be able to articulate themselves mm. better. Yeah. Because you think before you You're put right. in the words. Yeah. Like you actually taking the time to sit and think about what is being said and not just interjecting. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. before even getting to understand what 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 that conversation is about. Yeah. Yes, you can answer, but the quality of that conversation. Yeah, true. The qu true. I think that part is important. You've just stepped into an empty street, a podcast where we casually engage in difficult conversations about relationships, wealth, and health. We are just three curious gentlemen who ask questions almost about everything. And our aim is to find answers from others and within ourselves. We sit down every other week to explore unaltered conversations. So let's walk the talk together and welcome to the Empty Street Podcast. Just the two of us today. Just the two of us, yeah, you know? Yeah, Just the two of us. Yeah. We have our third member, Ali, in front of the cam, well, behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally a ghost, so he's our ghost man for today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, hope you've been keeping up with the episodes. Um, shout out to everyone who's been watching. Yeah, thank man. you for every yeah, view, man. thank you for every sub, thank you for every like. Um, the comments too here and there are also appreciated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned something the other day in the group uh, about a Jordan Peterson uh, oh, yes. clip yes, that yes. you came across. Um, so it's, 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 I think it was actually a, a clip from a TED talk he was on. So he was being interviewed on that TED talk. If it wasn't, then it was just a seminar of some sort. Yeah, but it's yeah. between the two. And the, the clip was basically about being articulate. Well, and its focus was on how people, I think what he was trying to kind of outline in, in, in that video was how to be more articulate when, when speaking, you know? And it made me realize that in, in, in just current society, and just how we live our everyday lives is that we hardly ever like take time to try and be articulate. Yeah. We, we, we know how to speak. Yeah. You know, yeah. we know how to do all of these things, <clears throat> answer and whatever, but being articulate takes a, like, a, it needs a, a different level of, I wouldn't say psychology, but like of understanding. Yeah, You know, yeah, because yeah. It's, it's not, not just uh, taking in, a, uh, for instance, some people would say people who who are articulate would be some someone or twenga or yes or that's that's or no vocab yeah that and is it's, it's, that's not being articulate yeah, yeah you know but it's it's mostly like in your reasoning yeah your reasoning capacity i would say also has to has thought to do process with, yes, as well. thought process um your reasoning capacity and all of those kind of things how you kind of answer questions what you say, thought, yeah. thought process, you know? Um, and how we don't really take time sometimes in those moments to think about what is being said. Yeah, yeah. Whether it be a question or just the thoughts. Yeah. We don't sit with the thoughts we have <coughs> before we actually like um, speak whatever's, yeah, before we speak our minds, yeah, basically. Yeah. And one thing he was saying was that it's important to actually like sit with your thoughts. You know, before you just rush to answer. Yeah, yeah. Taking that time kind of helps you form well thought out um, answers. Answers, yeah. Yeah. Um, how it, it it kind of enhances 
the 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 conversation as well. The quality of yes, the conversation. Yes, the quality of the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. the quality of the com- the conversation is also enhancing that because if 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 I'm articulate, then I won't find the need to use filler words, doing um, things like um yeah like mm, you know and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So yes, yeah, yeah. so you won't have. They need to do all of those kind not of stuff. I was talking about it, and then you're like, and then I'm so. Doing <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that one is not you know, a filler; yeah. it's part of a, the a, sentence. A. Yeah, yeah. And and you, what I liked about that clip is that you could literally <laughs> see it even through himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As he's yeah, yeah. talking about it, he's doing it. Yeah, he actually yeah. is a. All the time, when you when you when you're listening to yeah. him, you'll see him actually think. You'll see yeah. him look in up, the moment. or you'll see him get quiet. And yeah, it's like he's lost in thoughts yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah, and speech. then he'll start talking, yes. and then you can hear the structure of his, his sentences word, yes. and I, I really choosing like the, the, words. the words carefully. Yeah, carefully. I really so yeah, like yeah, yeah, I really like that. It's, it's something I picked up on how he actually like speaks. Yeah, yeah. You know. And and yeah, like we ring your Joe, like. We we just talk we just take talking as natural yeah, as it really comes. Sure. Yeah, I want we would see as long as in Kuluma language so or in his expressa language so whatever conversation dynamic you find yourself in, yeah. it's like you're just gonna talk on the spot, whatever comes to sure. mind. But we never like spend time to 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 be like, now nah, I'm spending this time right now so that I can be articulate and. One of those uh, uh, things for articulation, even before the thoughts as well, yeah. is just how you project your voice as yes. well, so that you can connect with whoever you're talking to. And this doesn't need one to be a public speaker. Yeah, a public speaker or mundo in front of a camera. Mm-hmm. In which, for us, it's something that we, I think we, we've been trying to learn. Yeah, improve on. Yeah, to improve on because we are in front of the camera. Sure. And seen as cut, yeah. shooting as yeah. an episode maybe shouldn't exceed this an hour. Time. Yeah, when, <clears throat> so we have to be articulate as much within as we that, can. Yeah, within yeah. that period of time. Because we don't uh, like script whatever we talk about. So it's like it's free thought. Yeah, it's free thought. And then you have to be able to sit with the thought and be like, okay, which words should I use yeah. that can drive me closer to articulating whatever so, I'm thinking about before I can. I can answer or express yeah, it. Yeah, I think you're actually right with that. In 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 our like when you're saying that when we actually have these like conversations, it's something I've realized as well is that when for instance if you're talking or if Ali's talking or if I'm talking, in that process we're yeah. busy sitting with yeah. whatever is being said. Yeah. You yeah. know, maybe I might say one or two points that you'll sit with yeah. and actually like ponder yeah, on, yeah. you know? And then when when maybe I I come to the conclusion of my thoughts, you then as you say, said, Donna, then, exactly, uh, you yeah, know. So yeah. I think that is those are the kind of hints, yeah, yeah, of yeah. of a person that is being articulate. Yeah, like you actually taking the time to sit and think about what is being said, and not just interjecting. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. before even getting to understand what what. What that conversation is about. Yeah. Yes, you can answer, but the quality of that conversation. Yeah, true. The, I true. think that part is important when yeah. it comes to um, being articulate. Yeah. It, it, it shapes the quality of the conversation like by a huge margin, you know. And um, he, he also mentioned something about like if, if we're having this conversation, for instance, right? It's okay <clears> to. <throat> not respond immediately yeah you know i think another person who has done that is i don't know if you've watched any of kanye west's interviews Mm. he's also someone that does that you know i mean i don't really watch a lot of interviews but from the few ones you've seen the ones that i've seen of him he's he's not a person that just is quick to yeah, respond, yeah. you know. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the question is. Yeah. He could he could answer obviously, but he would choose to sit with what that we would choose to sit with the question first. Be it three seconds or five, you know. Mm. We're not saying sit for a whole ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, the thought, yeah. But just take a moment, sit with what is being asked of you, 
and then answer. You yeah, know, yeah. and and then you realize that how you answer those questions, it's like you've already formed the words as you were keeping mm. quiet. You know, and it's not it's not like you digging from an empty well, but the words are there. You don't need a a, a vast vocabulary, as you were saying. Yeah. You, know, you know, I need a, a bank of words. <laughs> To, to pull from yeah, if, if, yeah. if, I'm, if I am to be um, articulate. But it's just forming a, a, a better conversation yeah. with the words you really have. And, and not just trying to say something for the mere fact of just saying it, mm-hmm. you know? So I think being articulate is, is important wherever you are. It can yeah, I mean be, in all aspects. Yeah. Uh, with With the people around you like friends like us yeah wanna uh, it, it's very important for for us to be articulate yeah. or learn to be articulate whenever we are talking just articulation as a whole like uh, you get to connect with someone that quality of a conversation yeah. makes you connect with someone with because someone, yes. you understand them yes. and you also feel heard so True. that automatically just strengthens yeah, uh, yeah. the friendship you have. And you go is. to relationships as well, which is one of the problems that people mm. face in relationships is misunderstanding. <clears throat> and if both of you actually put in the work to be articulate in your own yeah. thoughts. It can also strengthen that. It, yeah, it can also strengthen the, the communication, relationship, as, the well. communication yeah. as well, because now You'll want to understand where this yes, person is coming, coming from. from true. You take whatever they say and you process it in your own mind mm. and you respond, you respond in a way that's going to be effective yes. instead of Just something that will damage the relationship. Because sometimes you'd say things because you are in that moment. And it's difficult in relationships because in, in the heat you're of the very moment. emotional. Yes. So you can say whatever, but with things that you say, you can't take them back. True. That's the most unfortunate yeah. part That's true. and professional life as well it's important to express your ideas to be articulate when you're expressing your ideas yeah. and also listening to your colleagues as well with what are they trying to say sit with whatever in meetings you'd, you you'd see around just exchanging words, words and so yeah. and they're like whoa it's like it yeah. this is simple the information over yeah that. this is simple and then respond, respond. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I think across, as you've like listed all of those, um, I think it's very important. One I wanted to go back to is relationships. Yeah, yeah. And how, how the importance of being articulate can actually, as you were saying, strengthen the, the relationship, right? Yeah. Because... Excuse As you were saying that it's it's things done in a relationship are normally based off of emotion. Yeah, yeah. Right? And something I've realized is that sometimes you're gonna have uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. But knowing how to respond to them is what determines how that conversation is gonna go. Yeah. Like you can have the most heated conversation, but it can end well. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It, whether or not it was a good or bad conversation, but it can still end well yeah, true. because of the manner in which you were conversating, you know. And I think the importance of 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 being articulate plays a big role in that. Yeah. As you were saying, Woody, like trying to put your point across, whether it's some, whether you feel attacked or it's a question or whatever in 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 a relationship setting where you're trying to make your point. It doesn't matter if it's a good or a bad point, but making it so that the other person understands where you might be coming from, mm. you know, because yeah. at yeah. the end of the day, it's a two way, yeah. it's a two way um, channel where you both going to have things that either clash or don't see eye to eye. But it's 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 the responsibility of you guys yeah. to actually communicate in a way that the other person actually understands you better, yeah. you know, especially when you communicate. Because most of the time, that's all you can do is like communicate about things. Mm. But if you don't, then it, like it leaves it leaves room for a lot of things to go like sideways, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I just <clears> found <throat> that that video interesting, and that's why I, sh- I, I, I shared it. Uh, I thought it was like 
quite an, an interesting like mm. thing to think about. I've never really thought about being articulate in that way. You yeah. know, like even how we just unpacked it now, I, as a thought, I didn't like think of it. Yeah. You know? But now that we're talking about it, the whole thing about where you can apply it and how it can better things professionally, relationships and all of that, it makes even more sense. It's, it's your life. You know? it's, a, it's, yeah. it's generally yeah. basically it how you do everything. affects all aspects of your life. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, yeah, that was dope. <laughs> And yeah, also uh, one thing I mentioned when you pointed out the the like the video uh, is is how when you can learn articulation, mm. you also manage to detach from your own biases. Yeah. And whatever you're being told you sort of detach it from whatever you, you are emotionally connected to you believe mm. and you take whatever the person is saying and for what you just, it is yeah yeah, you, for, yeah what is. for what it is mm. yeah and when you answer you're not answering from a point of but what i believe said, in yeah, my saying. emotions yeah. all those biases sure. that you might have but you are answering from from what that question, question or, or statement, statement is, is yeah. the way you're responding to it is as genuine to that level yeah. as well yeah that's a good point actually so so yeah i think it really does help to be articulate and i think uh we me like consuming a lot of jordan peterson content one of the ways that he says sh we should do to practice articulation we should start with with writing like mm. writing a lot writing yeah. our thoughts so when you when you write your own thoughts you get to manage or you, you you gain the ability yeah when you write your own thoughts you gain the ability to articulate yourself better mm. on paper uh, so that's a good because practice. you're really choosing what what words, words to, to put use, yeah. yeah so now it will become easier when you are speaking speaking yeah. to, to someone yeah, it's actually, so he emphasizes a lot that in, even in schools kids should write like yeah. it should be compulsory for everyone to have right. the ability to write because it's the automatic way to make someone be able to articulate themselves mm. better yeah. because you think before you You're put right. in the words you know like speaking of school it remind like now that i'm looking back those essays the essays yeah? <laughs> But additionally, even further back, like primary, mm -hmm. we used to have this English teacher, Mrs. Bird, and she used to have, she used to hand out comprehensions for homework every day. Every day, we shall comprehension. Yeah. You have to read through that thing. And I think it had close to like 30 questions. Every day, yeah. comprehension for homework. And so on. And now that I'm looking back, based on this conversation it's making me realize that all of that work yeah wasn't for nothing yeah yeah you know yeah but in that moment you don't really see its value yeah yeah of course but now course. like i'm realizing that those moments taught me how to sit with what is being said yeah you know and think about it before i answer you know obviously you'll go back and reference yeah because the answers are within the the story or whatever but um, just that that skill of sitting with what is being said and like understanding it thoroughly before you answer mm. you know the whole essays thing yeah. like descriptive essays yeah. literary essays whatever the case is that as well that's worse because that's off top that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that one is worse yeah, because yeah. it's off top it's yeah. like especially I remember descriptive essays where they would just give you maybe pictures Mm. And then they were like, yeah, describe mm. this yeah. picture in uh, whatever words, yeah. amount of words, yeah. you know? Yeah. Those kind of things yeah. put in practice yeah. are definitely the same as being articulate, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just wanted to add that. And I think it's actually uh, a good point that you're making about just writing down your thoughts, filtering the words you want to use to make it a, a well thought out yeah. answer yeah. Or, or or statement or whatever or it is. writing yeah. you know or, or, writing. or thought yeah so yeah i think that's cool i don't know if you, you i don't know if i interjected or if you were still saying something yeah. no i think i i i, I put out the point that oh, i wanted to make, make. Yeah. 
uh, I'm just thinking now if we could be missing anything. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just that. It's just that. I think that's the way to to practice articulation. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And, and, and also you notice it with the conversations that you, you have, have with people, you are more aware of yeah. of the conversations you're having instead of just being on autopilot to Bati Uti, Bati Uti and then <laughs> there was some I forgot where I read this or where I heard it. Um about improving the quality of your com- your your communication skills or conversations as well. Yeah. How if you hear a word but don't know its meaning. Yeah. How you look it up and you don't write you don't write it down. You look up that word, you read it, and then yeah. You you forget about it basically. Yeah. You know? And then next time when you ha- like when you have like a moment of speaking or look at it's it's what I normally do with a word I don't know for instance is I would look at it I would look it up look at its meaning if I still don't understand okay obviously it will explain mm. the word right or whatever the case is but after that it's like figuring out how to use this word in, in a, a sentence. sentence yeah and then I look at synonyms Ah, yeah. Words that might like that you might know. Yes, that are similar to yeah, this one yeah. to, to kind of help. Obviously, they will, especially Google, it will give you the whole how to use it in a sentence yeah, thing. Yeah. But f- from the perspective of looking at synonyms first, then I already know how I would use it mm-hmm. in my sentences yeah. based off how I speak. Yeah. You know, and then I'm like, oh, okay. Then I go back. Yeah. So I think. That's just something I wanted to throw in there in terms of just like when it comes to learning new words. Mm, mm. Um, you don't really have to like sit and write them down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just yeah. looking it up and and at looking at the synonyms as well and then knowing how you can apply it into your everyday speaking. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I think that's, that's me, bro. That's me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, even what I mentioned off cam uh, that with with being articulate, it's not only about someone maybe who's gonna be in front of the camera. Yeah, it's for like just a normal person, and you'd never know what situation you might find yourself in. But it's just an important skill to have. Sure. To, important interpersonal skill to have so that you are able to relate with people people yeah yeah, yeah. and make people understand you yeah 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 and most especially if you're someone who's going to be in front of the camera sure. then you can also take it a step further by learning uh, storytelling knowing how to structure your story sure. have your climax and deliver the point that you want to deliver add humor in between yeah. you fix your voice as well um, the way you pronounce the words, but that's like actively Working trying to on, better yourself. Yeah. Like if you can look at the greatest communicators, uh, um, someone that comes first in my mind is, is Trevor Noah. You can see that he actually didn't only go for voice training. He sure. also went to learn about body language so mm. that he expresses his words from the in body. Yeah, just being articulate in in body language. delivery yeah yeah in in delivering yeah. and using all forms of communication, communication. to deliver yeah. the point Verbal or non-verbal. yeah 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 so uzobona even ekasi ekasi ngala makrotman or lama chita ah there are good storytellers with the end one le uma vusana jo ah like they kept it yeah, one when they and then now funu uzuti uma vusana yenzi yeah one don't like it ali amar yeah one ready or now we yeah and even the puri language is open ya go do it it ya don ibambi cigarette or whatever it be now we so mele yo na manje go ti so we are one like you know? yeah but those people were not people who Became yeah. articulate yeah. aware. It's either they learn it from someone mm. uh, by it's looking the at them, thing. or it's, yeah, 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 yeah. But it, being articulate is, is. Do you think it's a personality thing? 
being articulate. The, I mean, it can be land. Yeah. It can be land. There's something I always believe me. Uh, people would, would 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 be surprised when I tell them I'm an introvert, mm. right? But I like you're not shy. You're, you're able to talk. Like you, you're vocal. I'm yeah. like it's something I had to learn. I'm still an introvert, but I had to learn communication. Mm. So I don't think it's 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 a personality thing. Uh, it can be learned. You can be born with it. Sure. You can be a natural at it. So yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm yeah. Not quite sure. I've been but I do that. agree. I think anyone can kind of be articulate, bro. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's something you can just like work on. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. improve. So yeah, now I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it now. Yeah, easy. I think that's a wrap. Easy. Easy. So word of the day, be articulate. Yes sir. And as we always say, take, take care, care of yourselves, yourselves take, take care, care of each other, other and take, take care of your pockets. pockets. This is the Empty Street Podcast and we signing out. out. Peace. Peace.